This is a frontal bone. Uh, it is unpaired pneumatic single bone. It has three parts, squamous part, nasal part and the orbital part. It has many surfaces, external surface also called the frontal surface, the inferior surface also known as the cerebral surface, orbital surface and the two lateral temporal surface. On the external surface of the frontal bone, we have the frontal eminence which are more prominent in females. We have the superciliary arch and the midpoint of the superciliary arch is the glabella. The superciliary arch and glabella lodges the frontal air sinus. We have the supraorbital margin. The supraorbital margin has two notches, the supratrochlear notch and the supraorbital notch. From the supratrochlear notch, supratrochlear nerves and vessels pass, whereas in supraorbital notch, supraorbital nerves and vessels pass. Now uh, we come to the nasal part. The nasal part is the part below the glabella. It is pointing downwards. Uh, it has a nasal notch. The nasal notch articulates with three bones. The nasal bone, the frontal process of maxilla and the lacrimal bone. The orbital surface. The orbital surface has two fossas. Trochlear fossa, uh, sorry, trochlear fossa and lacrimal fossa. Lacrimal fossa lodges the lacrimal gland. Now we come to the inferior surface. On inferior surface, we have the suprasagittal sulcus, which lodges the suprasagittal sinus and gives attachment to false cerebri. We have the frontal crest, and the frontal crest uh, articulates with the crystal galli of the uh, of the ethmoid bone to form the foramen cecum. Uh, and we have the ethmoidal notch. On the inferior surface, we have irregular pits called granulofovillae. We have uh, impressions for sulci and cari, and we have grooves for meningeal vessels. The temporal surface. The temporal surface can be distinguished from the frontal surface by the superior temporal line, which gives attachment to the temporalis facia. It articulates with the two parietal bones, and this junction is known as bregma. This is unossified in the fetal skull, and it uh, generally ossifies by the age of 18 months.